Hello everyone and welcome to episode 8 of my best of 5 random class series. This time it gave me the rapid fire shotgun, the... it was just, it was just epic. Um, it was so hard. I don't exactly know why it was so hard, but this was... I, I keep saying, oh, this was the harder one than the last one, and and when it gave me the the M1, M1216, I guess is a good way to say it, um, but when it gave me this gun, I just was like, okay, this is going to be awesome, it's going to be super easy, and it, it really wasn't. I I kept dying because of this gun, and so I thought it was like a super awesome, great gun, but it really, it kind of fell for me because of how short range it was. I'm really an AR player, um, I've kind of developed that through Black Ops 2, I've just kind of developed the understanding that I'm really an AR player more than uh, a submachine gun player or a shotgun player. And because of that, this was a very difficult, um, difficult class. Also, I never used claymores. And as you can go back and you can look at, I was given claymores and that was, that was different for me because the only reason I would ever use claymores is because I was maybe camping as a sniper, which I rarely do. I love to run around, but overall, I never use claymores, and so it's different. I usually use Bouncing Bettys. That's probably my one thing. Bouncing Bettys, C4, and Semtex. I love those three. Lethals, those are the ones I always use. And so claymores are different. I really enjoyed them. Um, I can't say I got too many kills in this game using the claymores. Um, however, because of this game that I played using this class, because of this class, um, I did start using claymores more, and I've, I've kind of become, I've started to love them more. I kind of learned to place them a little bit farther away from doorways so you can't see the red lasers and that kind of thing. So it worked out pretty well. Um, other things about this game, I, I really, I tried my best, and this is what came out. I think I ended up going 11 and 5. Uh, it's on standoff. So, you know, this is one of my favorite maps. Um, I can't say that I hate this class because I don't. It's one of my favorite random classes that I've done. Uh, probably up there with the uh, DSR-51 and the TAC-45 class. Um, it, it's really, it's, it's pooped out some really, really good classes lately. And I gotta say, the next class is gonna be pretty epic. Um, I'm not going to give you any insider information, but it's going to be a good class. Um, this is number eight, and I'll probably go up to say, I don't know, as long as I want to. This is really, it's, it's brought new life to Black Ops 2 for me. Uh, Black Ops 2 really started dying, and even with the new map packs, it really hasn't reawakened for me. Um, I keep getting new map packs, I'll play the levels for a couple days, I'll be like, okay, same old shit. Like... Give me something new. Give me some sort of new map. Something that doesn't just have three pathways to go and then you die. You know, I, I've been through this in past commentaries that I've done. Uh, all maps are the same, basically. And it, it stayed true. Every map pack that they give out, it stayed true. And so I'm going to stick with that. Three, There's three pathways on every map, no matter what. Uh, but anyway, I... I I really, I've been having some trouble having a reason to play this game. I've been going back and I've been playing a lot of older games, uh, been playing a lot of Far Cry 3, been playing a lot of uh, Ratchet and Clank, all the old Ratchet and Clanks. Uh, been having a hard time finding a reason to play this, and basically these random class, this, this random class series is basically the only reason why I play Black Ops 2 is because of this and my friends. My friends love to play Black Ops 2. I like to play Modern Warfare 3, so maybe I'll upload a little bit of that, but most of the time, I kind of stay away from Black Ops 2. I don't like playing it, I mean, I get a couple of good plays, or uh, games every once in a while, and so I play it, I'll, I'll be like, oh wow, I did really well, I'm going to play this more often, and then I'll come back in, and some little 12 year old will just be like, oh my god, why is everybody so much gooder than me? I'll be like, better, he's better than you. And so, I don't like listening to the whining, so I get off a lot. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, maybe if you guys want to, anybody who watches this video, uh, just comment below uh, what class I should really do next. And maybe I'll even do a whole series just on best of five 
subscriber series where you guys tell me what you guys what I what class I should use. Uh, that actually be really fun. So if you watch this video all the way through and you hear me say that, congrats because you're probably the only one. <laughs> And you get to decide what I play next, what I, what class I use, um, because I love feedback. That's what I love the most. I really feedback is one thing that I don't get a lot of, but when I do, it's usually positive. And I love to get feedback. I love to get likes. I love to get feedback. I mean, you don't have to like the video. It's just a video, you know. But if you just give me some feedback, even if it's a negative, positive, things I need to change, maybe audio, whatever, give me some feedback. I love that. Uh, maybe even tell me in the comments below what you think of Black Ops 2. Uh, tell me what you think of Call of Duty Ghost. Are you going to buy it? Are you not? You know, give me some feedback. Tell me whether you're going to buy the Xbox One or the PS4. I love feedback. And if you guys could give me some feedback, that'd be awesome. But this video is coming to about a wrap. Uh, as you can see, I pretty much I go 11 and 5. Pretty awesome, I would say. Um... I had some good kills in there, some good deaths, you know. I don't mind dying to a good player, so I'm pretty happy with this gameplay. And most of all, guys, just don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.